Hello, you are welcome how to find the value of x in this nice Olympiad equation. From here, let's factor x minus 8 out from here. So we have here it can be written as x minus 8, the minus 2, then square, then plus. Here we can write this as x minus 8 minus 1, then raised to power 3. Then plus here we have x minus 8, then raised to power 4 equals to 2. Then we have x minus 8 comma here. So let's use a letter to represent that. Let, let a be equals to x minus 8. Then from here we can write that again. And that will give us a minus 2 square. Then plus here we have a minus 1 cube, then plus a raised to power 4 equals to 2. So when we expand this, this will give us a square plus 2 times a times minus 2, that's plus minus 4 a, then plus 2 square, that will be 4. Then when we expand this, we have plus a raised to power 3 minus 3 a square minus 1 that's minus 3 a square now then we have plus 3 a b square and b is minus 1 here so minus that's plus 3 a then we have minus 1 because minus 1 q that's the minus 1 then we have plus a raised to power 4 here, which is equal to 2. Then, in the next step, we bring these two to this side. Then, we collect the like term, we rearrange. From here, a raised to power 4, we write that first. Then, plus that of raised to power 3, that's plus a raised to power 3, that's just 1. Then a raised to power 2, we have a raised to power 2 minus 3a raised to power 2. a square minus 3a square, that will give us minus 2a square. Then we have minus 4a plus 3a, that gives us minus a. Then we have 4 minus 1, that's 3. Then when we bring plus 2, that's minus 2. 3 minus 2, that's plus 1, which is equal to 0. Then from here, we have a raised to power 4. Let's rearrange. Let's bring a raised to power 4. Then minus 2a squared plus 1 together. Then also we have a plus a cube. Then minus a together equals to 0. So we bring this together. And also we bring this together. Then from here, what we have here can simply be written as a square minus 1 all square. So when we expand this, it will give us this bracket. Then plus from here, we can factor a out. That's a into bracket a square minus 1, then equals to 0. So from here, a square minus 1 is common. Let's take one of it out. a square minus 1 out. Then what is left here will be a square minus 1. Then what is left here is plus a, which is equal to 0. Then you see that we have, we have two cases here. We have a square minus 1 equals to 0. Or we have this to be equal to 0, which can be written as a square plus a minus 1 equals to 0. Then from here we have a square to be equals to 1 then taking the square root on both sides so a will then be equals to plus or minus 1 and uh, a is represented as x minus 8 so x minus 8 is now equals to plus or minus 1 so also we have two you know solutions from here the first we're going to have x minus 8 equals to plus 1 that's 1 and we have x minus 8 equals to minus 1 so from here we have x equals to 
1 plus 8. When minus 8 comes, it will become plus. That's x equals to 9. And from here, we have x equals to minus 1 plus 8. And minus 1 plus 8 will give us 7. So we have it, we have two values of x from this side. Then also from this side, let's solve this quadratic equation first. And then from here, a will be equals to minus b. b is 1, minus 1, plus or minus square root of b square, 1 square, minus 4 ac. a is 1. C is minus 1 over 2a. That's 2 times 1. Then from here, a will then be equals to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 plus 4. Minus times minus plus, then over 2. Then a equals to, from here, minus 1 plus or minus square root of 5 over 2. And uh, also, a is known to be x minus 8. That's x minus 8 now equals to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 5 over 2. Then we have two ways here as well. So, is it that we have x? We have x minus 8 from here to be the first. We have x minus 8. To be equals to minus 1 plus root 5 over 2 or we have or from here we have x minus 8 to be equals to minus 1 minus minus so we have minus 1 minus root 5 over 2 now when we solve from here we have x we equals to we have minus 8 coming with us 8 minus 1 over 2 when we separate this then plus root 5 over 2 then 8 minus half here we give us 7 and half so x equals to 7 and half plus root 5 over 2 and 7 and half can be written as 15 over 2, that's 2 times 7 plus 1, that's 15 over 2 plus root 5 over 2, which we can bring together as 1 as well. When we bring it together as 1, that will be. So from there, we are going to have 15 plus root 5 all over 2. Then also from here, we have x equals to 8. Then minus 1 over 2 minus root 5 over 2. Also, this gives us x equals to 7 and a half. Then minus root 5 over 2. 7 and a half also can be written as 15 over 2. So x equals to 15 over 2. Then minus root 5 over 2. So we can also bring this together as one as 15 minus root 5 all over 2. So we now have other two values of x, whereby the first one from here is x equals to 15 plus root 5 all over 2 from here. Then we also have the other value of x from here to be x equals to 15 minus root 5 all over 2. So we, let's call this x equals to 9 as the first value of x, the second value of x, the third, and the fourth. So from here we have four solutions in this uh, given problem. And we have come to the end of the class. Thank you for watching. Share this video and subscribe to my channel. Turn the notification bell on. See you next class and bye for now.